All right, so today we're going to be talking about understanding linear equations with two variables. Um, usually you've been working with linear equations with just one variable. We're going to take a look at, the, at what happens when you have two different variables and various different interpretations of that. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and start out with uh, writing a linear equation for the relationship between hours and minutes. Well, I know that one hour equals 60 minutes, which means if I ever want to find out how many hours are in a certain number of minutes, I would set up the equation m equals 60h. There's the relationship between hours and minutes, because maybe I could use this equation over and over. Um, maybe I don't know how many hours are in 180 minutes. Well, I can go ahead and plug that into my equation, and I would say 180 equals 60h divide by 60, and I would see that 180 minutes equals 3 hours. So that's how writing a linear equation for a relationship could certainly help you. Let's take a look at another example. Here I have a table of time and temperature. What I want to do is write a linear equation between the time, m, and the temperature. So maybe what I would do first is take a look at the table. I see at 0 minutes the temperature is 25. At 1 minute it's 30. So I see it's increasing here as I start out by 25. And if I add 5 that gets me to my next value. Um, and then if I add 5 here, that gets me to my next value, and then so on and so forth. So I see that whatever the time is, if I start out with 25, because that's my initial temperature, and I add to it, five for that time in minutes I will go ahead and get my temperature. You'll notice over here for zero my time in minutes is zero so when I substitute zero for my minutes here I will get 25 plus 5 times zero which is zero so it just stays at 25. And what you want to do whenever you write a linear equation based off of a table is go ahead and check it with a couple values to make sure you're right. So in this case, 5 and 1. 5 times 1 is 5. So 25 plus 5 gets me 30. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 plus 25 gets me 35. And we could see that it, it uh, definitely fits that pattern. Another thing you could do is evaluate linear equations with two variables. So in this example, I want to find the value of y when x equals 7. So let's say I have the equation y equals x minus 5 divided by 2. All right, well, if I want to find the value of y when x equals 7, all I really have to do is plug in 7 for x. So I'm going to get y equals 7 minus 5 divided by 2. So in this case I see that y is going to equal, let's make a little arrow, y equals 7 minus 5 which is 2 divided by 2, y equals 1. Take a look at this next example here, 3y plus 4 equals 2x what happens is I have 3y plus 4 equals 2 times 7. So 3y plus 4 equals 14. All right, what happens here is that I have a couple extra steps to take in order to solve for y. But the idea is still the same. Your first step is going to be to plug in that value of x and then you can go ahead and solve for y. And that's it.